வெரி குட் மார்னிங் டு ஆல் வணக்கம் புதுக்கோட்டை அரசு கல்வியல் கல்லூரி இந்த பெருந்தொற்று காலத்தில் ஆசிரியர்களுக்காகவும் ஆசிரிய மாணவர்களாகவும் பல்வேறு இணைய வழி உரையரங்களையும் வினாடி வினா நிகழ்ச்சிகளையும் தொடர்ந்து நடத்தி வருகிறது அதன் தொடர்ச்சியாக இன்று பேராசிரியர் முனைவர் ரென் ராபின் அவர்களுடைய பெருந்துணையோடு ஆசிரியர்களுக்கு தேவையான தகவல் தொழில்நுட்பங்களை வழங்கி அதன் மூலமாக தங்களுடைய பாட பொறுமைகளை மிகச்சிறப்பாக நடத்துவதற்கான ஒரு ஏற்பாட்டை செய்திருக்கிறது இன்று வருகிருக்கக்கூடிய பேராசிரியர் அவர்கள் கற்பித்தலிலும் தொழில்நுட்பத்திலும் மிகுந்த தேர்ச்சி உடையவர் மட்டுமல்லாது பல்வேறு மாணவர்களையும் ஆசிரியர்களையும் இந்த துறையிலே ஈடுபடுத்தி அவர்களுக்கு போதிய பயிற்சியை வழங்கக்கூடிய வல்லுநராகவும் அவர்கள் விளங்குகிறார் அவர்கள் ஆசிரியர்கள் தங்களுடைய பாட பொறுமைகளை தகவல் தொழில்நுட்ப உதவியோடு எவ்வாறு சிறப்பாக நடத்துவது என்பது குறித்த விரிவுரையை இன்று நமக்கு வழங்க இருக்கிறார்கள் ஒரு கல்வியல் கல்லூரியோடு ஒரு பொறியியல் கல்லூரி பேராசிரியர் இணைந்து மேற்கொள்ளக்கூடிய இந்த முயற்சி இரண்டு துறைகளுடைய கூட்டு முயற்சியாக அமைவதோடு கல்வியல் துறை சார்ந்த பேராசிரியர்கள் இதில் சிறந்து விளங்குவதற்கு இது பெரும் துணையாக இருக்கும் என்று நாங்கள் நம்புகிறோம் பேராசிரியர் என் ராபின் அவர்கள் இத்துறையில் பத்தாண்டுகளுக்கு மேலாக பல்வேறு அரிய முயற்சிகளை மேற்கொண்டு வருவதை நாங்கள் இப்பொழுது பயன்படுத்திக் கொள்கிறோம் என்றுதான் சொல்ல வேண்டும் அந்த வகையில் அவர்களுக்கு எங்களுடைய கல்வியூர் சார்பிலும் ஆசிரிய பெருமக்கள் சார்பிலும் மனமார்ந்த நன்றியையும் வரவேற்பையும் நான் தெரிவித்துக் கொள்கிறேன் நான் தெரிவித்துக் கொள்வதோடு இந்த நிகழ்ச்சியை ஏற்பாடு செய்து கொண்டிருக்கக்கூடிய ஆசிரிய பெருமக்கள் குறிப்பாக முனைவர் ரவிச்சந்திரன் அவர்கள் திரு பாரதி அவர்கள் இந்த நிகழ்ச்சியை ஏற்பாடு செய்வதிலே அரும்பாடுபட்டு வருகிறார்கள் அவர்களுக்கும் என்னுடைய அன்பையும் நன்றியையும் இத்தருணத்திலே நான் தெரிவித்துக் கொள்கிறேன் இத்தோடு கூட எம் கல்லூரி பேராசிரியர் பெருமக்கள் இந்த நிகழ்ச்சியை தொடர்பு கொண்டு காத்திருக்கிறார்கள் அவர்களையும் நான் வருக வருக என்று தருணத்திலே வரவேற்றுக் கொள்வதிலே மகிழ்ச்சி அடைகிறேன் எல்லாவற்றுக்கும் மேலாக பேராசிரியர் ரென் ராபின் அவர்களுடைய உரையை செவிமடுப்பதிலே தமிழகம் மட்டுமல்லாது பல்வேறு மாநிலங்கள் உலகளாவிய நிலையில் ஆசிரியர் பெருமக்களும் மாணவர்களும் காத்திருக்கிறார்கள் அவர்களையும் இந்த குழுவினர் சார்பில் நான் வரவேற்று மகிழ்கிறேன் இனி தொடர்ந்து பேராசிரியர் ரென் ராபின் அவர்கள் தங்களுடைய உரையை வளர்கள் அவர்கள் வழங்கி முடித்தவுடன் அதன் மீது பல்வேறு வாதங்களை அல்லது அவரிடம் ஐயங்களை நாம் எழுப்பி மேலும் விவரங்களை பெறலாம் பேராசிரியர் ரென் ராபின் அவர்கள் இந்த நிகழ்ச்சியை தொடங்கி நடத்துவார்கள் நேக பேராசிரியர் முனைவர் ரவிச்சந்திரன் அவர்கள் முறையான ஒரு நன்றி நவலை நமக்கு வழங்குவார்கள் நிகழ்ச்சி இப்பொழுது பேராசிரியர் ரென் ராபின் அவர்களிடம் ஒப்படைக்கப்படுகிறது அவர்கள் சிறப்பாக நடத்தி தருவார்கள் வணக்கம் பேராசிரியர் என் ராபின் அவர்களை முனைவர் ரவிச்சந்திரன் அவர்கள் முறையாக பேராசிரியர் சமூகத்துக்கு அறிமுகம் செய்வார்கள் Hello everyone and welcome to today's national webinar on ICT Enabled Pedagogy. Government College of Education, Pudukote, is proudly introduced this innovative topic before the participants in order to create ICT skills, attitude and usages among the participants. In this pandemic period, the world is functioning on the basis of ICT tools and gadgets. Our educational system is totally dependent on the modern science and technology to teach our children. In this time, irrespective of any discrimination, all parents are spell out the terms internet, email, Google Classroom, video streaming, uh, Google, etc. for their teaching of their words. In this respect, the topic ICT enabled pedagogy will give the participants a thorough understanding of information 
communication technology approach usage the classroom teaching and the content transaction i am very sure today's resource person dr cr reni robin is very apt in delivering all required information and knowledge to create ict enabled pedagogy i am very privileged to introduce uh, today's chief guest before you it's my great pleasure to welcome and introduce to today's resource person dr cr reni robin me computer science and phd computer science and scored this a degree is from anna university chennai now he is presently working as professor and associate dean department of computer science and engineering jerusalem college of engineering chennai he has number of credits to added in his profile very young man energetic man more than 20 years of teaching experience in the various capacities of teaching research and experience His areas of interest include ontological engineering, knowledge management, e-learning, semantic web, etc. He is aggregated supervisor of Anna University to guide PhD and MS in the area of computer science and engineering. Four students have successfully completed their PhD program and currently 10 research scholars are doing their research work under his guidance. He is a doctoral committee member of Anna University. Satya Bhama University and VIT University Chennai. He is an active professional member of ACM and ACM recognized him as ambassador. He is a lifetime member of IST and member of several professional bodies. A very in the very few, uh, young man, he has achieved a number of laurels in his. Uh, pedagogical areas he received a mentor award from ibm during felicitation ceremony of the great mind challenge 2001 and he has visited number of uh, uh, countries including england uh, not only uh, we visited number of uh, countries he wrote number of books on for his credit the most important books are he wrote on book on role of ontology in software risk management came uh, approach published by lab Lambert Publishing House, Germany. He contributed a chapter on Onto Games Tech and Ontology-based knowledge management framework to teach engineering courses. So, uh, num- he undertook a number of uh, on, uh, projects. He completed a number of projects. One of the most two uh, important projects are the community skill development. Under this uh, project, the amount sanctioned for him was more than 7 crores. Uh, unimaginable amount for his credit. He, uh, one, another important ongoing project is ontology, on, ontology-based enterprise risk management for banking domain. So from, uh, August, uh, from October 2019 to now, this project is going on. On behalf of our Government College of Education, Pudukote, on behalf of principal and faculty members, i welcome to this platform sir and now i hand over this section to dr reni ravin sir thank you sir thank you thank you so much uh, for introducing me thank you sir. it's my great privilege and honor uh, to being here on behalf of uh, government college of education pudukottai i thank dr professor ravichandran sir and uh, the principal of the institution Dr. Gunasegaran sir for inviting me to share my knowledge to the teaching community. I'm very much thankful to the college, Jerusalem College of Engineering, which I am working for the past 14 years in the same institution for training me to this level. I thank God for this opportunity. So with this uh, small uh, introduction, let me start my presentation. on ICT enabled pedagogy you would have heard different types of pedagogy as the educator the faculty members of uh, education college uh, engineering college uh, and other institutions this pedagogy is the inevitable need of today's teachers starting from school teachers to the university professors especially the people those who are locked living during this pandemic period it is 
meeting the requirement of both student and faculty members. So there is no alternative for this ICT enabled pedagogy. So I, Dr. Sirene Robin, Professor and Associate Dean of Jerusalem College of Engineering, very, very happy to share my knowledge, my experience, what I learned throughout my experience. I'm very happy to share you so that you can. I'm very happy to know that Government College of Education, Pudukotai, is using a lot of technology, which I have already disseminated through various channels like uh, YouTube uh, and uh, the Google Meet and other platforms. I'm very happy to know that this is what my takeaway whenever I come online, whenever I give some digital resources, whenever I share some digital resources to the community. This is what my expectation. If if I if I know that people are using it, teachers are using it, institutions are using it, that would be my best takeaway of all my effort. Thank you so much for uh, being here. Uh, we have a lot of uh, people around the 250 viewers are uh, viewing this program through the YouTube channel. So webinar on ICT enabled pedagogy. So I welcome you for my channel. Those who are not subscribed my channel, kindly subscribe so that you will get uh, my future updates on time. So today's topic is ICT enabled. ICT is uh, information and communication technology. The technology is ruling us. Always there is a fear among the teachers. Whenever we talk about e-learning, whether we will lose our credit. So what we are doing is as a virtual learning, learning where the teacher and we are using the technology as a platform. As a teacher, I am sitting at one corner of the world and you are sitting different places of the world and you are seeing it. We are using this digital platforms, ICT enabled platform for communication and for dissemination, disseminating the information and knowledge. So don't fear about e-learning, virtual learning. So I, I encourage everyone, the normal teacher, this is a time to transform from normal teacher to ICT enabled teacher or digital teacher. Let me start my presentation from the major initiatives of the government of India, Digital India. If you look at the nine pillars of Digital India, the first four pillars are focusing directly focusing on e-education or education, technology for education. All institutions connected with the broad broadband, free Wi-Fi in all institutions, digital literacy program. That is wherever I go, I insist this word digital literacy. The shortage now it is predominantly uh, uh, came out that people in the teaching field people are digitally illiterate so it is our responsibility the teachers responsibility to eradicate this illiteracy digitally illiteracy so we need to conduct a lot of programs on digital awareness so that to equip teachers to meet tomorrow's requirement and the fourth pillar is a MOOC develop a pilot massive online open courses in government of india has established uh, several portals for portals for this online courses i'll tell you uh, in some of my future slides and the rest of the things are uh, uh, other technologies okay. when you look at this particular this in, the, in this slide uh, you can able to see how much importance are given for education and uh, you and me are here to equip ourselves this is one of the slide which i have uh, one of the photos which I have taken during the initial stage of this pandemic. Every day we are communicating with our students uh, through the digital medias and uh, digital platforms. So my job is to hear, uh, my job here is to uh, disseminate the knowledge which I occurred and I, I and encourage you and you can become a digital teacher. So here online, uh, everything is happening through online teacher and students can interact through online portal. It's a two-way communication. Don't be afraid that we will display some video and we'll ask the students to study. No, teach how we meet the students every day at college, at institution, at school, at university. The same way we can meet our own students every day. Not only our own students, when you conduct a webinar. This, this particular, uh, today's webinar is an example of how digital tools are helping us, the ICT 
enabled platforms are helping us. So ICT enabled pedagogy is uh, being uh, very successful because I'm meeting around 250 candidates uh, sitting at one corner of this uh, country, Chennai, and meeting more than 250 to 300 participants through this platform. You can able to visualize the strength of ICT enabled platforms and education. So this is what the online uh, education uh, India, the, if you look at the statistics of 2016, the online education market, the amount was the $247 uh, million. It is expected to grow $1.96 billion in the year 2011. And if you look at the number of uh, users enrolled for the online program in the year 2016, is $1.6 million. It is expected to increase $9.6 million in the year 2021. So estimated increase in cost of classroom education is 178 percentage. And we need to see, uh, when you look at India, most of the people are living in uh, rural areas. So uh, giving education is a challenging. So it, it is possible through, only possible through, or with the help of ICT enabled tools. So if you look at the difference between the traditional education system and the online education system, let me concentrate on the first point. It is easy sitting at home and can gain the knowledge. I can sit at my home and I can uh, convey what I want to tell. I can teach the students and students can conveniently, they can sit at their home and they can uh, learn. But traditional uh, education knowledge is gained in a particular center. We have to come to a school, school, college or university and it is less, less expensive. Uh, the cost involved for online education and uh, uh, traditional education is a bit costlier in, the, in terms of uh, the land construction of building infrastructure. Okay. So it's all uh, we have. We can save it. And missed classes can be gained by any time. In the traditional education, missed classes are difficult to gain, and the online education can get more explanation. In traditional, it is very less. Uh, explanation so today we are talking about ict enabled pedagogy okay from where we we, we have to know we always we have to look at our back from where we came from where we started in 1964 the before independence of india kothari commission has given a recommendation for linking education to productivity uh, relating education to social and uh, national integration accelerating the process of mo modernization through education developing social moral and the spiritual values among students. But what happened in 1977, uh, the Ishwar Bhai Patel committee recommended a social, useful, productive work. These are all various uh, uh, phases, various evolution of the Indian education system. In 1978, uh, the Malcolm Adhisheshwar's recommendation came to picture. In 1986, uh, when uh, Mr. Rajiv Gandhi was the Prime Minister of India, uh, introduced uh, the, to meet the challenges of 21st century AACT, though it was established earlier, it became the statutory body and the TRB establishment, open university establishments are came to picture in 1986. And still we are following the pattern has been introduced to, uh, by then President uh, Mr. Uh, Prime Minister Mr. Rajiv Gandhi. Now, after uh, 34 long years, this picture I have taken one of the medias, from one of the medias, it uh, say, says, after 34 long years of wait, India finally has an education system fit for the 21st century. Okay. So this particular phrase is a debatable phrase. It is the hot news among uh, the Indians and even the world people are uh, debating and discussing about the, uh, the new education uh, policy, new education policy. But uh, we have to, as an optimistic person, educators, we have to think it in an optimistic way. Uh, so it says the 10 plus 2 system will be divided uh, into 5 plus 3 plus 3 plus 4 format. Budget for education increased from 4.43 percentage to 6 percentage. Uh, it's a good indication of our uh, importance uh, uh, towards educational system. Now all courses will be available in regional languages. Even um, two months back, uh, uh, we have received a call for from Swayam to translate uh, all the courses into the reg regional, uh, regional courses like Tamil, Malayalam, Hindi, uh, Telugu, and other uh, languages. 
Yes, these are all some of the advantages. Let us not uh, go deep into this uh, discussion. And this is what the latest uh, initiatives, Stay in India and Study in India, of the uh, Government of India. I read this uh, news uh, uh, published by BIP Delhi on 24th July 2020. So the statistics says in 2019, 7,50,000 students have traveled from India to abroad. Think about the foreign exchange moved from India to other countries. So keeping this mind, uh, the this uh, this phrase has been coined: the stay in India and study in India, and increase the seat capacity by 50 percent all premier institutions by 2024. So when 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 we implement this, we need to be ready to improve our infrastructure. 50 percent predicted 50 percentage. Premier institution, maybe the Government College of Education, one of the institutions, Jerusalem College of Education, where I am working, even one of the institutions. For this initiative, the chairman of uh, UGC and be headed as the head and the chairman of AICT will oversee the issues like the technical institution and uh, the sub various sub committees have been constituted uh, uh, under the Gaiden, uh, Gaitship of uh, directors of IIT, NIT, IIIT, COI, and uh, Vice Chancellor of various universities. So, oh, where we are standing now? So, in order to meet all the requirements, we, the educators, must be trained, trained in terms of digital teacher. It's a time to transform from the traditional teaching to digital teaching, ICT enabled teaching. So, it is the responsibility of each and every teacher to equip themselves and equip others to meet the requirement of the nation so it is the great support we are contributing towards the digital india project of the government of india it is not only for the government it is required for the teachers it is required for the survival of the teacher underline the word word survival of the teachers if you want to survive if you want to continue to be in the teaching community it, you cannot escape from this knowing this you have you must convert this is a right time to transfer transform from uh, tra traditional teaching to digital teaching. You may be a, a primary school teacher, you may be university professors. We are experienced because we have started this uh, evangelism long time back, myself and my wife, Dr. Doreen Robin. Wherever we go, we will insist. Uh, we have been in several institutions. Even in 2018, we have been in St. Aloysius uh, Institute at Jabalpur, uh, Madhya Pradesh, uh, where we met uh, around 100 teachers from various countries. So, Wherever we, we go, we will tell that uh, the day are very near to us. We have to be digitally equipped to meet uh, tomorrow's challenge. And it is proved and we are experienced during this uh, lockdown period. Uh, the college which I'm working, uh, Jerusalem College of Engineering, I have set up this uh, G suit, Google C suit uh, in the year 2015 and uh, the usage was very less. During this period, we are 100 percentage uh, using all the digital tools and all the platforms we are engaging our students uh, from the next day onwards from the next day onwards because we made everything ready to meet tomorrow's challenge so we can see some of the digital tools okay i want to tell you uh, uh, friends uh, i have uh, given a lot of video lectures a lot of webinars and uh, uh, several uh, videos are available in my youtube channel i will post my youtube channel link in the a live chat mm -hmm. youtube channel uh, link so you can see because um, uh, where i have uh, given detailed explanation about all the tools today my presentation what i have planned is since um, most of the viewers uh, even my during my previous um, uh, lives they asked for demonstration today my entire session is divided into two the first 50 um, percentage uh, i will constant theory and uh, i am planning to give a demonstration in the remaining that second half of the program okay so i will we will just uh, quickly go through the um, digital tools which are available uh, here the google photo is an important uh, tool important app of uh, google uh, where you can disseminate the photos and you can ask the people you can uh, download the photos Say, for example, when you conduct a program in the college, you may take a thousand photos, sending out thousand photos to thousand, assume that thousand participants. So, thousand participants is very difficult. So, what you can do is Google has given the uh, free space for storing your uh, posting your photos where you can make it as uh, album and you can post all your photos and uh, send the link to all the participants uh, uh, and participants can download 
the required photos. And Audacity is, uh, is an open source software used for audio recording. And if you want to become a sound engineer, you can use this, uh, this tool. I have given the address uh, uh, URL for the Audacity where you can download. As a teacher, if you know the, uh, the sound engineering, your value will definitely increase in the campus, okay? Because very few people uh, will know all these tools. I encourage everyone to, to become a sound engineer so you can edit, you can uh, do all the uh, jobs with respect to audio. And the play post is another tool. It's a uh, free video making tool uh, where <coughs> it, uh, you can use it. The website is already, uh, it's available in the slide. Farmer Factory is uh, and one more tool. Uh, this tool is used to convert uh, files from one format to another format uh, from uh, you can convert any file to mp4 file mp3 file jpeg file and all lot of uh, conversions are available it, because uh, this need of the are uh, uh, normally when this kind of um, uh, requirement comes we depend on our uh, lab inspector any lab uh, uh, administrators okay thus a teacher you can do uh, on your own when need arises okay so that that's what i just want to come uh, teaching all those tools. Detailed explanations are available in my previous channels. I have uh, given the links in my uh, the description of this particular uh, live session. If you go to the description, you will get a lot of uh, links where you can find uh, the required details. And blank space uh, used to, it's a uh, different uh, uh, types of resources from different uh, sources. Uh, you can create a digital classroom with the help of uh, blank space. Okay? If you want to create the lecture, video lecturing, our lessons for your program, you can go for this tool, Blend Space. Photo Razor is uh, one of the best tool uh, every college office must have. Uh, it is used to uh, compress the size of the file. Nowadays, um, you will experience it during the uh, NAC uh, uploading or uh, NBA uploading accreditation process, uh, university affiliation process, and um, uh, AACT and other statutory bodies. So every, everywhere, if you go, just they made it uh, online. You have to upload uh, all the information in a digital format through the online portal provider. So the normal problem challenge we experience is the size of the portal. So a lot of online tools are available, I know. But this uh, tool, uh, you can download and you keep it on a desktop. It will help you to uh, reduce the size of the file without compromising the quality. So I encourage everyone to have this on your desktop okay you can download uh, it's a free software it's available you can download uh, on your uh, wordpress uh, if you want to create uh, your own website you can go for wordpress wordpress is very 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 good uh, uh, it's a tool where you can develop your own website a lot of farmers are available i love pdf is another important tool every teacher must know because nowadays, uh, whatever you want, will surf the internet to know about information. When you surf the internet, you will be getting the information in the form of uh, form of PDF. So if you want to convert uh, the PDF into uh, other formats, and if you want to merge the PDF, if you want to split the PDF, if you want to compress the PDF, these are all the various features uh, provided by ILO PDF. Uh, it, is, uh, it is a portal, it is a website where you can get uh, this information. You can upload your uh, one format, and it will be, it will be converted into uh, PDF okay. uh, into other formats. So every teacher must uh, know. So these are all the various digital tools. Um, as I mentioned earlier, if you go to the description of uh, the today's webinar, you'll be getting a lot of information. So kindly uh, be familiarized on these tools. Uh, definitely these tools are going to complement for your uh, digital teaching, virtual teaching. I just want to uh, give you some online resources where uh, you can uh, enrich you as a teacher and your students can enrich your knowledge. MOOC is a massive open online course uh, it's a, where various uh, professors, eminent professors and uh, the universities are offering programs. We can register the program and we can uh, get their uh, stuff. We can download everything. Uh, some of the programs are uh, free. They will provide on free of cost. And if you want a certificate from that particular universities, you uh, we, we, we have pay a minimal nominal pay to get our certificate. And uh, even some of the Indian professors, Indian universities are involved or contributing to MOOC. Can Academy is, a, is an important uh, uh, online portal. It's a free world class education for anyone everywhere. It is an Indian uh, uh, 
company organization it's a non profit organization supported by various uh, donors and they are able to create interactive software exercises videos and uh, articles of the word for free because of uh, their support so you can find the can academy here you can find the can academy here www.canacademy.org okay, where you can get even it is very useful for school students and college students and coursera is another uh, important uh, um, tool okay so important portal i just want to tell you one 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 testimony that the college which i'm working jerusalem college of engineering during this pandemic period we encouraged we being the partner and we we encourage every student and faculty members to pursue course on coursera coursera before pandemic it was a paid uh, program if you want to pursue a program uh, we have to pay fee and uh, pursue the program and get your certificate but what happened uh, once the program the pandemic started uh, they opened it for uh, free so everyone anyone can register for free of cost and uh, study this program and uh, you can get the certificate without paying any money okay free of cost okay now uh, i encourage everyone you can watch one i will share the link it's a real testimony which happened at uh, jerusalem college of engineering one of the students to my surprise to your surprise i tell you during this pandemic period she completed uh, first year student now she moved from first year to second year she completed 250 courses successfully and received 250 certificate why i want to tell you so i want to impress you i think please take one minute of time and i have shared the link i have shared the uh, youtube link with you kindly open the uh, the youtube link and uh, visit the achievement of the particular student achievement of the particular student okay so please um, uh, take uh, 30 seconds i'll give 30 seconds time and you can watch this video uh, please um, open the link which I, which i have shared in the um live set, live chat and you open it this particular student have uh, completed successfully she has completed 250 courses and um, uh, got 250 different certificates why i am uh, insisting here is during this pandemic period this pandemic uh, i always said lockdown is for the building only lockdown is cannot stop the learners we cannot we cannot uh, lockdown uh, never stop uh, the learning uh, habit okay so if you love learning you can learn it okay so these are all the free uh, freely available uh, portals online portals where uh, our students and even the teachers can enrich our knowledge i i want to tell you this till september 30 2020 all the courses are free even those who are watching this program through youtube I encourage everyone to uh, register uh, some of the interested programs and you can uh, dis- you can share this knowledge to your students your college um, professors so that many people will get uh, benefited okay so please uh, uh, watch this video hope uh, you have watched that video and uh, the link will be always there the link i already shared in the description part also so nptl is a government uh, of india initiatives um uh, doing a very well and a lot of um, education students span 1.6 million people and um, subscribes are 9000 uh, more than 9000 um, million subscribers are there and uh, we have the content of 50000 56000 more than 56000 hours of video contents are available and uh, swayam is the study webs of actual learning of young aspiring minds a lot of video lectures are available so all initiatives of government of india and you can uh, pursue the courses from a uh, swayam and you can write online exams if you look at this particular slide uh, this swayam is uh, the quality is ensured by no, uh, the various coordinators aict nptl ugc um, the consortium for educational uh, communication ncert nios uh, igno iimb nittr these are all the people are ensuring the quality of the program and um, need uh, uh, the in, in in collaboration with the corporate editor corporate uh, the government of india is providing the uh, mooc type of uh, courses uh, it is implemented by aict all in the council for technical education so these are all the various uh, tools which are available in the um, in the in, in indian and uh, other abroad uh, web, web portals online portals so kindly visit those web portals and uh, enrich your knowledge and uh, pass on this information to your students so that your students will be benefited a uh, uh, lot 
okay so we have completed just we landed with just half of the portion don't ask pressurize us to give feedback you uh, feedback will be given at the end of the session after 12 o'clock okay for your kind information and uh, and now let's move to virtual uh, classrooms you're all about uh, the traditional classrooms uh, the traditional classroom is the one uh, uh, is a building where we have the infrastructure the uh, teacher and students every day they, we will go to the classroom and the students will sit in the classroom we the teachers will follow the time table students will follow the time table so it's all happening through the virtual platform okay. i'm going to tell you the initiatives of a uh, lot of lot of you ask me different uh, Uh, virtual platforms are available to meet today's requirement uh, i here i am uh, uh, i am here to tell about my experience on the google classroom google classroom uh, is available for uh, free of cost it's an initiative of google it's an it's an app for mobile users you can use it in your mobile you can use it your uh, desktop or laptop okay so it is a virtual classroom you can use a number of uh, you can create a number of uh, classrooms it provides for a paperless classroom and access to google products uh, such as google docs google drive google slide once you started using the applications of google docs uh, slides uh, sheets and drives uh, will experience where the drives you can save uh, the data uh, uh, without any restriction and uh, instant collaboration with the teachers and students uh, uh, even outside the classroom Uh, any time any time you can post the assignment you can stream it i will show you the demo also okay the very very simple the advantage of the google classroom is it is totally customized to one fully customized to one even a common people can use it and uh, it saves your money for teachers being able to better to track students progress you can grade the students so whatever you do uh, in the classroom you can do it okay so now uh, let me tell about uh, google meet um, how we are interacting how we are interact every day when you go to school we need a platform to interact we need to that's what during my uh, initial um, presentation i i insisted that we we need a platform to meet the student we need to uh, platform it is virtual meeting where i have to meet the students students will sit uh, somewhere and i will sit somewhere and uh, the interaction will happen through a media it is called a google meet google meet before the pandemic period it is an applications of uh, one of the applications of google meet before pandemic period uh, it was uh, given uh, I, uh, most of the corporate uh, being used it's a paid app once the pandemic started google ran anonymously uh, generously they uh, opened it for uh, free of cost okay so initially they opened it for g suite users okay and uh, uh, after two months uh, they opened it for all uh, gmail users if you have a gmail and if you log in gmail at the left side you will be knowing uh you will be getting an information about the google meet okay so if you have g suite g suite is uh, is a, is a sponsored program of uh, google to education institution non profit institutions where all the applications of google will be provided on free of cost you need to pay anything and uh, it is a long process um, if you want to set up uh, google suite where the teachers and students uh, irrespective of the numbers can get their own email id on their uh, domain uh domain id so for example the college which i am working jerusalem college of engineering our uh, website is www.jerusalemeng.ac.in um, okay so the my mail id is my name is rene robin so rene robin at jerusalemeng.ac.in similarly all the teachers all the students will get um, the email id it helps us a lot to uh, share the information to use the tools um actually it is um, uh, for corporate and i think this paid but uh, uh, under the uh, corporate uh, csr uh, activity google has made it free and uh, sponsored it for the i will uh, give a link uh, where you can meet the integration so i have made a video for uh, the integration of uh, google classroom and google meet okay so you can uh, i will i will put it in the chat the integration of uh, google classroom and google meet if you ha have this option is available only for g suite users if you are a g suite user and you have if you have created um, you would have created your classroom using your domain college domain email id then you can use this facility otherwise this uh, google classroom and google meet will uh, will be as you can use it 
different uh, or separate uh, applications okay uh, the advantage is uh, nowadays uh, um, everyone people or students or uh, people irrespective of the place we started using whatsapp and uh, facebook okay so similarly we can use this google meet and google classroom you will get notification as a student you will get notification as teachers you will uh, whatever you do it will be uh it will be given to the the students okay so if, if you uh, even the description box i have given the link the same link the integration of google meet and i have made a, a video long back during uh, the initial stage of this pandemic i have created and i have published it, post it in the youtube channel and please um, use this uh, channel for your uh, use uh, this video for enriching your your knowledge so this unlimited number of meetings you can conduct it with the help of the google meet and the li live capturing uh, during the meeting okay so i tell you the importance uh, so many teachers will ask me so I suggest uh, best tool for uh, live capturing video capturing we want to record our video okay so i always suggest uh, google meet even today morning i have uploaded one video uh, which i have taken uh, day before yesterday my regular class during my regular class i have recorded my uh, entire uh, teaching it is around uh, one, 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 one and a half years so uh, one and a half hours one hour one hour program okay so this one hour uh, lectures i have copied and uh, uh, today morning i uploaded in the youtube channel so just to give demonstration to you so that uh, you also even you can also use it the advantage is uh, some uh, during our lecture some students may miss our uh, lecturing okay so when you uh, make it as an make it as a digital assert i can call this my dis digital assert and the, when i disseminate when i published when i post it in my youtube channel what i can do is i can uh, share this link even now i have shared uh, the link to my my lecture my video lecturing this i have recorded which uh, with the help of google meet uh, if you want to rec record similar uh, in, in a similar way to record your uh, regular classes what you can do is you can use this google meet and you can use it okay so the, these are also the, the benefits of uh, the google meet okay so so the, this particular slide shows the number of users restriction for g suite users and the normal users uh, how many uh, how many classes you can create uh, how many students you can admit uh, how many students uh, so it says that if you have if you are a g suite users uh, per class you can admit uh, thousand uh, students and uh, you can create a number of classes and um, as an educator we know the expense of the financial commit commitment required for the uh, for constructing a building constructing a classroom but google has given this virtual platform you can create a number of classrooms uh, uh, on your own without any financial commitment i can what you are doing the same job we normally do in the uh, classroom you can uh, do the same class during the virtual platform okay so uh, this this particular webinar is a live example here i am meeting around 500 people in a single channel i just my, my job is i want to share my knowledge so i use this ict enabled platform so i am uh, disseminating my I am, I am sharing my information and more than 500 people from different part of the nation and abroad uh, you are all listening my uh, lecturing my, my my presentation okay this is what the power of uh, uh, the so let us uh, go to the demo session without wasting much of our time okay friends um, um, you would have heard a lot of information uh, now um, uh, let me start one uh, one quiz okay it's part of uh, you know, the online online class okay i encourage every teacher lecturing alone uh, in, in addition with the lecture you have to motivate the students you have to encourage the students uh, so I, it, it must be a part of your uh, teaching online teaching okay i have prepa prepared a quiz five questions i am going to invite you for uh, uh, inviting you to join for this quiz okay the tool which i use is mentimeter i have created my uh, i have created my <clears throat> quiz with the help of mentimeter what you can do is you can uh, www.menti.com you can please go to www. here uh, at the top you can see go to www.menti.com so i encourage uh, all the all the viewers please join with me for the quiz okay let us uh, let, let us uh, examine the the knowledge what uh, you have uh, absorbed uh, uh, from my presentation okay i have prepared five questions from my presentation alone so similarly every day when you conduct class when you meet your students through this virtual platform you can also um, 
make your students to uh, involve in the online learning mode okay so what you can do is you go to www.menti.com it is displayed at the top of the screen and use this code of double five nine five one one two okay and uh, okay double five nine five one two and enter into the quiz your name you can type your name okay please the name i am i am getting the uh, people okay so i encourage everyone here we have around um, um, 300 um, uh, people in the live chat okay so you, you all can join you all can join up, up to 2000 people can join okay so it is available on free of cost um, uh, you need not pay anything for for the for other purpose you can get and other paid version you can get okay for every participants it gives a specific symbol So no registration required for this uh, webinar uh, by the after um, uh, at the end of the session we will share the feedback link where you can give your information and we will get your certificate in a week okay so don't rush up your uh, uh, feedback uh, uh, link okay so it's a it's a learning uh, platform where i'm going to give some demo and the learning it would be useful as we heard from the uh, government college of education pudukottai when principal of the institution uh, okay. sir said that we are using what uh, Renata sir already uh, given during his previous webinars. Okay, so that is what my takeaway. Okay, I am getting uh, people from various uh, various places. Okay, please come on, please go to what you are you want to do is www.menti.com. Log on www.menti.com. And use the code double five nine five one two, okay. Double five nine five one one two, okay. And I will tell you how to create this quiz also during this period, okay. I will tell you, I'll tell you how to create. If you want to, please stay with us, okay. Not only uh, participate in the quiz as a teacher, you have to create your own quiz and encourage your students. You can encourage your students, okay. So please, please join now. Please join. And I want to encourage everyone. So please join with us. So from tomorrow onwards, you can use this tool to motivate your students. So when you conduct a class one hour or one and a half hours, two hours, uh, in between, if you conduct uh, this type of quiz, uh, it would be a great motivation to your students. Okay. So uh, people are joining around. Uh, um, 39 40 but we have around 40 participants okay now i'm going to display the questions what you are going to do two things will be absurd one is how fast you're answering how correct your answer is okay how faster and finally i am going to announce who is the winner among the participants who is the winner among the participants okay let us go let us go okay question Gender and Yeah, now you are going to get your first question is what is NEP? What is NEP? You can answer. Okay, please. 15 seconds will be given. 19 have responded. 15, only 15 seconds uh, will be given to answer your questions. Two, three, one. Okay, stop. We have got 39 response. 39 response. Okay. And um, national education policy is the right answer only four people have responded it okay so we will see who is the winner yeah for the first and first question the winner is dr uh, Seema Singh. Okay, the point is 981 points. He's, she, uh, Dr. Uh, Seema Singh scored 981 points. And uh, the other uh, winners are Anita scored 908 points. It is points are given based on the time you have responded, you've taken. And uh, uh, Shakti Bharat Bhaskar uh, sir, got uh, 716. And uh, Sahana uh, Maya have got uh, 531 points so this is what your score for the first let us move to the second uh, 
uh, question. Okay, participants, please be allowed to, to answer. You have to fast, you must be fast and correct. First Education Minister of Independent of India. Independent of India. First Education Minister of Independent of India. Okay, time's up. Here we have uh, 10 correct answers. Maulana Abul Kalam Asad. Okay, I, actually I wanted to tell about him. He, when he was the first, Prime, uh, first Education Minister of India, he insisted to uh, go for uh, medium of in, in, instruction to all education institutions in English. Okay, but it's not been considered. But I wanted to insist that point. Okay, so now uh, 10 people have read. Let us see who uh, is the winner of this particular answer and uh, combine the answer who is the winner. <clears throat> yeah, again, Dr. Seema Singh, you are the winner. You have scored 981 points. Anita is the second winner, runner, uh, 908 points. And uh, MP Reddy got uh, uh, the 875 and 857 Sujada. So the winners listed here. Okay, let's move to the next the third question. What is GCR? Okay, the options are the options are displayed now. Okay, now you can click. Over time over. Time's up. Let's see. Okay, Google Classroom, 40 participants have correctly answered. Graphical Classroom, five answers and uh, Gross Cash Recovery. It is the right answer, but with respect to our discussion, uh, it is Google Classroom. Okay, let us see who is the winner. Let's see who is the winner. Yeah, here the winner for this question is uh, Sujada, madam. You got uh, 1,680 points. And Anita, madam, you got uh, your second position, uh, 1,667. And the Shaila Charles, uh, Shaila Charles, you have got uh, the third position with uh, 1,659 points. Okay, let's move to the um, fourth question. Let's move to the fourth question. Which year Kothari Education Commission was set up by the government of India? You are all educators. Most of uh, you are working in College of Education. It's part of your syllabus. I have taken this question from one of your subjects. <laughs> yeah, 45 response we have received. Yeah, right. Answer is 1964. 1964. 29 uh, participants have uh, correctly answered. Let us see who is the winner for this. Yes, Sujada, madam, you have scored 2,618 points. The second place goes to uh, Shaila Charles, madam, with the 2,612. Anita, madam, you have got a third position with the 2,472 points. Okay, let's see the last question. MOOC stands for, MOOC stands for, we have four options, select your answer. <coughs> MOOC stands for, yeah, okay. time's up. Massive open online, 23 right answer and uh, other are wrong answers. Okay, let's see who is the winner. So, winner of this quiz, winner of this quiz, yeah, it's going to be announced. It is Anita, madam, with that, ma'am, uh, you have scored a 3,200. 
20 points okay and then madam can you type your uh, name designation in the uh, in institution in the in the uh, chat box we want to know from your uh, who are you okay you are the winner of uh, today's quiz with uh, the score uh, 3220 the score is given based on the right answer as well as how fast you answer how fast i wish you i we want to wish uh, anita ma'am all the best congratulations to uh, anita ma'am okay anita ma'am may I know your your full name and the institution and from where uh, you're attending very interesting very interesting okay okay now so now we all played as a teacher my job here is to teach how to create uh, yeah, please see anita um, anita yeah, yes. from uh, from which institution thank you sir okay i want to know from where uh, which institutions let's all say congratulations to uh, anita ma'am anita ma'am okay very good very good ma'am okay <coughs> this is how we can encourage your teachers your students every day when you go for online when you go for online teaching teaching alone is not sufficient okay we have to encourage your students you have to make them to involve in your class okay you can ask this type of uh, questions so i'll tell you i'll teach you how to how this uh, quiz can be uh, created okay so for that so i am going to www.mentimeter.com okay the as a participant so use www.menti.com when you create similar quiz you have to go to the website mentimeter.com okay so where you have to sign up and the presentation your presentation here you have, we are going to create uh, here we are going to create our own quiz the same questions okay i will i'll teach you with uh, one one question there is uh, have you identified uh, uh, who is anita hmm is coming your presentation i will reset it okay here you can see new presentation can you able to see new presentation clicking on new presentation name of the presentation let me say quiz number 1 create presentation it is creating the new project new quiz it is creating a new project new quiz at the right hand side you will be getting different options okay i will skip all the options uh, now my objective here is to create quiz so quiz competition there is an option here quiz competition so select this tab this so the platform is given where you can create your questions okay where you can create your questions hmm? uh, anita who is anita uh chenduran um, anita mam is from uh, chenduran engineering college pudukote oh same place from the organizing district wish all the very best congratulations god bless you mam for your active and energetic participation for the Yes. Okay. Your uh, uh, your right hand side you will see where you can type your question. Your questions. Okay. So let me type the same question. What what is N E P? Okay. Questions I have typed. Now I have to give the uh, option. Okay. Here I can give four option. The first option is new educational education policy. My second option is new education 
educational policy and my third option is <coughs> national education policy so here normally default by default you will get only three option if you want to give fourth option you can uh, click this add okay where you can create one more option my final option is national educational policy national educational policy okay so now i have created the questions <coughs> I have created the questions. So, so if you look at uh, this first slide is created and the responding leaderboard where you can uh, the next after uh, getting your result, it will display the scoreboard. OK, so option is also there. So your first question is created. Let me start with first questions and I will uh, tell you how to present it here. If you go, look at the top uh, corner, top right corner, you'll be knowing uh, there, there is an option present screen. OK, so click this present screen. When I present this, OK, so it is accepting, started accepting. So now we can ask your students to go to www.mendy.com and the unique code created for your quiz is 508669. This is what they need. For every quiz, quiz it will auto automatically create a unique code. And uh, the participant has to use this code and uh, can participate in the quiz. This is how we can create your quiz. OK, so I encourage your teachers, please uh, create, uh, please use uh, this Mentimeter to encourage. It is an encourage. It is to encourage uh, the student uh, from the topics which you have covered uh, so that you will every day you can wind up your session very interestingly. OK, let us uh, uh, let me give a small uh, demo for uh, Google Classroom, uh, it is. It would be very helpful for the beginners. Okay, so I have already logged in my G Suite account, uh, even the normal Gmail account. Where at the top of the top right corner, you will be getting four uh, so nine grids. Can click it here, and uh, we come down. There will be the option Classroom. Okay, so. I'm going to click this classroom. I'm going to click this classroom. Okay. Classroom. Here at the right side, you'll be uh, getting a plus symbol. Okay. So, so create a new classroom. Already, these are all the classrooms. My classrooms, created classrooms are available. So, I'm going to create a new classroom. Okay. Plus, here are two options join classroom and create classroom. Since I am uh, uh, for this session, I am the teacher, you are the student. So I am going to create. I will ask you to create a, a join with the help of this join class. OK, so create. I have created the classroom. I want to create a classroom. So I have created a classroom with the name uh, demo for government college of education. Okay. OK, so if you want to give any uh, session subject uh, room, you can create. But uh, these are all the optional. But this is a mandatory required field. And I'm creating. By clicking this create, uh, you can create it. <clears throat> Let us wait. Uh, it takes a few seconds to create your classroom. You have to wait. See, assume that uh, if you want to create the physical classroom, uh, how much effort we, we should uh, we have to buy the land, we have to get the approval for building. Yeah, now your classroom is created. Your virtual classroom is created. Demo government college of education Pudukotai. okay it is created now and uh, uh, so the, the dashboard you will be getting a code can you able to see the class code this is what the class code this is what the class code okay so so along with you can be the users those who are interested to join to my class go to google classroom and it, uh, click the option join and uh, it asks you to type the class code where you have to give this class code. It's case sensitive, small R, L, Z, U, Answer. U, Answer. to I. Okay, kindly. So kindly use this class code. Kindly use this class code. And 
John. So this is how you can invite your students. Your students may be anywhere. So you can invite using this class code. You can through a WhatsApp group or you can invite the students through the email also. If you know the email, you can invite them. You can ask them to join. These are the various options. Okay. So I now viewers, you can use this option. Option. So we are going to share the feedback soon. We will uh, don't worry about feedback. I request the participants to subscribe to my channel. I have a lot of videos there. And uh, uh, if you subscribe my channel, you will get notification and you press the bell button. Also, you will get notification. You will get the notification of my future like, thing. So, so I encourage everyone to subscribe my channel so that uh, will be many a lot of uh, similar uh, workshops uh, webinars uh, contents are available and other uh, contents are available in my channel so i encourage everyone to subscribe my channel okay so this time uh, yeah, i kindly join to my classroom with the help of this uh, this code yeah so i can able to see some students have joined now um, Sakti Bhaskar, Dr. B. Um, Alagu Sundari, Dynamic uh, Stay House, uh, Shamila PhD, Dr. Shamila PhD, Devraj, uh, Mr. Sudan, Sujada. Okay. You can type the code in the chat also. Okay, this is how you can create uh, your classroom. It can invite your um, student. Okay, and here a lot of options are, lot of options are available. So here uh, you can at the top you can see stream, classwork, people, and grades. Okay, so this option will not be available for students. Stream, what I can do is what I can share, sharing something. I can share a lot of things to my students. Okay, what I can share here you can see the option, Google Drive link file YouTube. I can share a content from my Google Drive. I can share a link URL and I can share a file from my desktop. I can share a YouTube link. Okay. Here, uh, let me uh, let me try. Okay. So since it's a demo, I what I want to share is I want I want to share a YouTube link uh, to my students. In the meantime, those who are interested can join the classroom. Now I'm opting the YouTube uh, option where I can type uh, the same uh, file integration. Google Classroom and Google Meet. And, uh, let me search. I'm searching this particular, my required channel yeah, okay i have got my youtube link here i'm clicking the this is what the youtube link i'm searching okay so here an option once it is highlighted i can click this add button okay so now it is ready to post i have not yet posted so the basic requirement is here the post option is not enabled this is not basic. The first uh, uh, problem, difficulties we, we normally face when we start Google Classroom. Okay. So when it will be enabled is you have to type the name of the file, which information you are sharing. Okay. Here, what I'm going to share. The moment I, you can notice, the moment I type my first letter, it will become uh, enabled. It will become enabled. Okay. So let me uh, type uh, integration. See, I, when I ended I, it became enabled okay so integration of google classroom with google meet okay so now everything is ready i have given the title i have uh, selected the youtube link now i am going to post it now this is available in the portal the moment you will get, you will get a notification uh, in your Gmail that uh, 
uh, your instructor has posted a, a content okay as a students you will get the notification and uh, if you are using mobile phone uh, you will get the notification as we get the notification in the whatsapp uh, uh, notification okay so i always tell that um, how we use whatsapp is similar manner we can use google classroom it is a kind of application app you can download it and we have uh, not gone through any any specialized training to use whatsapp okay do you have an experience of attending any webinar for using whatsapp no facebook no on your own we learned because of the necessity so similar way you can learn okay so uh, in in the similar way you can mm, post four options either a content from google drive or a link so let me say i want to uh, so now the the hot topic uh, even the today's discussion is uh, we have discussed about uh, national education policy okay so i just want to share the what is this content national education policy okay yeah national education policy here the contents are available so what i can do is i can copy this link i can share to my students and i will ask my students go through this national education policy 2020 tomorrow i will conduct a test or i will conduct a quiz on it okay this is how you can disseminate the knowledge you can encourage your students to learn it's all learning okay so here what i am going to do is i am going to post and selecting link where i will get an option to paste my link okay, i have posted then add link when i click add link it will be okay so now it is ready again i have to give the name okay national national education policy 2020 okay so now it is ready to post similar way i can post my any content from my google drive or link file okay so i want to if i want to know how many people have joined if you go to people a lot of people have joined to my class okay so the classwork as a students i can create a classwork here i can create assignment i can create so since due to the time restriction i'm not able to go further hope definitely i will um, have a, we will have a, another session exclusively on uh, demonstration okay so hope i will get uh, similar option so where i will meet you and now the next uh, demo is on uh, google uh, meet okay google meet for the g suite user the meet is already here okay otherwise what you can do is you can go to settings if come down there is an option here generate the google meet where i am create generating google meet okay so there is an option is here visible to students yes i made it uh, visible to students okay so now the google meet link is created i have to save it here save it and i'm going to the home page of my google classroom where this google meet is available okay so so now i am uh, opening the google meet clicking my google meet So you can also, as a, as a viewer, you can join to the class. Okay, I'm going to live session so that everyone can come and uh, meet you. Okay. So it, uh, it generated, it generated. Can you able to see the uh, code, meeting code? Here is the meeting code. It is a uh, alphabetical uh, code, three alphabet, hyphen four alphabet, hyphen three alphabet. Okay, here, here you can able to see the code, small rtwo, okay, so, rtwo, and now I am in the classroom as a teacher, I am waiting for my, my students, okay, so what as a students you can do, you can, 
by clicking this i'm posting the link the meeting code in the live chat by clicking you can enter into the by clicking i have shared uh, their participants i have shared the code meeting code i am i am as a teacher opened my virtual classroom and i'm waiting for my students okay if you are interested come and join with me using this code yeah i have got first student satya yes welcome satya madam for my class dr b alagasundari welcome alagasundari madam and amarnath my third student rainbow tutorial welcome to my class okay sina joseph welcome to my class jayaraj welcome to my class mr jayaraj sandhya yam welcome to my class maladi shankar welcome to my class okay okay so this way i can invite uh, the the students if both student and faculty members are using the same uh, uh, code if you have a g su to sir then without permission one minute i am getting call yes sir ah feedback you can post sir because a lot of uh, inquiry okay you can post the feedback. okay ganapati subramaniam sir okay i am admitting okay this how you can admit okay if both students and faculty members have used the same uh, g suit domain id college id so need not wait automatically you will come to the class okay this is what the virtual classroom this is what the virtual classroom where uh, all the students are see you are uh, you are sitting somewhere i am sitting uh, in chennai okay as a teacher i am inviting you with the help of this code and you are all joining to my class okay so my class is now uh, restricted to you alone okay so i can take the class so i can share my ppt i can share my content i can communicate with you and if you want if you have any doubt you can interact with me there is an option a mute option is available as a participants okay so i can uh, take i can interact how we interact our students in the normal classroom the similar way we can interact with our students it is very very useful and why i am recommending this google product is very safe also may not worry about the security issues and it's customized even the lkg teachers and we have school in uh, chennai anavaram bethel matriculation higher secondary school where all the teachers from kg uh, we have trained them the all the teachers from kg to 12th standard are using this it is fully customized and all your data safely will be stored at uh, uh, the um, at uh, google storage okay so you would have heard about uh, how the google the mechanism of google storage at a time uh, six different places your data will be stored and uh, even something will happen to one storage the another uh, story the data will be picked up from another storage okay so i will stop admitting i will uh, keep on getting uh, admission from the from the students this is what the setup where student and can a lot of advantage you can take attendance you can rec record the attendance uh, um, okay these are all the benefits okay so kindly use and encourage everyone to use this tool explore this tool so i am i just want to come out from the classroom okay so so one of the one of the candidates you can unmute your mic and ask me okay so in any question okay any question i'll stop so this how we can convey student and teachers can uh, communicate communicate okay one of the one of the student uh, uh, in the class can unmute and they can ask some question okay so i am sorry i am denying the uh, request and I'll stop uh, accepting okay, don't mistake me here are lot of uh, uh, participant students are there yes you can we can interact if you want interact with me you can interact me jayra sir uh, can you unmute your mic and interact with me amal morkey sir you can also appu kumar sir you can also interact yes 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 who is that who is that ah oh. Alagur Sundari, uh, Madam asked how to get the Google Meet code. Okay, so if you go to, so now I am sharing. Ah, uh, 
yeah google meet link okay it is a google meet code okay which i shared no it is available it is yeah it, it yeah it is available in the google class since uh, i have uh, since i have a google suit account i can generate my google meet code from my classroom itself suppose if you don't have a google suit account yeah, you can use google meet and google classroom separately and from uh, google meet you can uh, re generate the code and uh, uh, give it to your students so if you go to the gmail id go to the gmail id at the top you will be getting nine grids by clicking the nine grids yes by clicking the nine grids you will get the app list of apps will be displayed from the list of uh, apps uh, you can select google meet okay so can you able to see the url meeting url link of this meeting here is the code here is the code the code is alphabets three three r sorry three alphabet hyphen four alphabet hyphen three alphabet this is what the code this is what the code this is what you are supposed to share to your students t r w hyphen e g u c hyphen a q w this is what your code for every meeting it automatically it creates a unique code and this code can be given to the students who are willing to join to your class and uh, uh, you can fix up a time and if you create this class, google meet in uh, using a google classroom the same link can be used for your future class also okay so these are all uh, so uh, some options uh, a lot of things are available even i can uh, take class uh, one full day for Google Classroom and <laughs> Google Meet. A lot of steps are available. So let me come to the final. So kindly listen to me. I am coming out. Okay, I'm not admitting and I'm coming out. If you want to come out, you can click the dial box button and you can come out. Okay. So final thing. So Sunil Kumar, sir, I have admitted you. Okay. So I'm going out now. So similarly, you can also leave the meeting. Okay. Leave the meeting. Okay. Very good. Let us uh, go to the the presentation slide presentation slide so uh, last two weeks back uh, when i was taking a section similar session to one of the college medical college uh, sesita medical institute of uh, science hello ah chalam okay and idhula idhula podunga and chat irukum private chat irukum stream ad la private chat irukum adha podunga na post pannirren thank you okay there is an issue in posting uh, actually uh, the college of engineering college of education pudukottai uh, is organizing this program so i will post the link okay there is an issue in posting the link i will don't worry you will get your certificate uh, from the organizer don't worry okay every all participants all the viewers uh, will get your certificate uh, don't worry about your certificate so if you have any question any query on uh, the certificates you can ask the organizer i have given the contact email id in the description of this description of uh, this youtube link okay so this is recorded and it is available in my channel kindly subscribe my channel if you have not yet subscribed my channel and uh, my future thing will also be communicated to you and please uh, don't uh, forget to subscribe and press the bell button so that you will get all notification all notification okay so soon the uh, the i will get the link from the organizer i will post it uh, don't worry i will post the link okay, i'm waiting for the uh, post okay so organizers uh, uh, ravichandran sir please uh, post your uh, link or uh, the baskaran sir please uh, please post it in the private chat so that i can post it please be patient on the uh, participants okay there is a um, problem okay let us uh, come to the final slide so various this is what my contact details my contact details you can contact me for any clarification suppose for your institution if you want to set up g suit 
i have uh, known people and they will help you i will connect uh, those people to, uh, with you okay uh, so for any any program you can contact me any doubt on this digital tools usage of i am here to uh, share my knowledge on digital tools as a digital teacher as a professor of computer science my responsibility to educate uh, others on digital is need of the our country is badly in need of uh, uh, training teachers uh, we must train so that we will if you look at the nine pillars of uh, uh, digital india you could uh, see the importance uh, we are giving for i'm waiting for the feedback link once i receive i will post it here i'll post it here okay don't worry so if i have any any doubt uh, you can post in the live chat i will address your questions i'll answer you kindly wait for the feedback link don't leave uh, otherwise i will do one thing i will post the feedback link in the description okay or even after completing the uh, Hello. Sir, sir, in the WhatsApp, can you put it? Okay. Ah, okay. Sir, sir, for it. Sir. So, if you have any doubt, you can post it in the chat box. So I encourage everyone to become a digital teacher, and if you have any doubt, uh, please contact me. I will. I'm here to. I will respond to you. Soon we'll uh, post the feedback link. Thank you for uh, being with us. Uh, we had a nice uh, sharing time can you can you give a descriptive type yes you can give a descriptive this is a question asked by uh, madam describe both the formative and the submitted questions are available you can give space you can create uh, that is a biggest advantage without any paper you can conduct you can create a number of uh, sheets uh, can make the students write on it and you can uh, you can ask them to post it in the group you can evaluate it you can grade it uh, uh, you test one set for the entire semester test one test two test three uh, everything okay. test one test two test three assessment one assessment two similarly you can generate uh, i have received just now the feedback link uh, so now i'm copying it. just a minute and just a minute i'm posting it yeah soon i will post the feedback link just now i have received the feedback link from the organizers you can use any one of the forms okay we have created four forms yeah the long awaiting feedback is on the screen yes wish you all the best for your certificate e certificate and even i will post these links uh, okay in the description later later also you can today it will be on okay these videos are uh, available all these videos are available in my youtube channel kindly subscribe my channel and be connected with me be connected with me and uh, press the bell button so that whenever i come online you get a notification whenever i upload a video it will be notified to you so i have hope you have received the feedback link
thank you for your feedback uh, thank you for your comments uh, yeah i have shared uh, if you want once again i will share with the feedback links since a small it's my small initiative to the people of india the teaching community to educate everyone everyone to be a digital teacher okay so now over to the organizer let me hand over the session to organizer we have the coordinator uh, dr vidran sir and the principal dr vinushegran sir all here sir sir yes sir yes sir you can speak ah face la sir yes sir face la thank sir. you all for your comments uh, yes sir face la face la okay okay romba payanude da irundhadu sir thank you thank you sir nanji romba sir oru pudusa oru google class la uruvaaki epdi adukulla irundhu poradhu abingiradhu பாரதி வரல பாரதி சார் வரல நீங்க கூட வரல யா பாரதி சார் இன்னும் வரல நீங்க முடிச்சிருங்க சரி சார் ராபின் சார் எஸ் சார் எஸ் ரவிச்சந்திர சார் ரவிச்சந்திர சார் நீங்க கண்ட்ரோல் பண்ணி முடிங்க சார் வெரி குட் ஆஃப்டர் சார் ஆ சரி சரி வெரி குட் வெரி குட் டாக்டர் டேக் டு திஸ் நேஷனல் லெவல் ஆஃப் பர்டிகுலர் அகேஷன் சார் கே கே ஆல் தி கம்ப்ளீட் திஸ் uh webinar in a grand session sir next i would like to thank the resource person uh, dr rani robin sir he took lot of effort uh, in this particular event to uh, coordinate with particular day onwards you took all the directions and gave all the uh, inputs to us sir on behalf of the participants and on behalf of our college and i extend a hearty thank i would like to thank all the participants there is a, some uh, technical glitches uh, took place on our hand uh, i am very uh, really uh, sorry for that but the presentation everything is ready uh, for all the participants i thank all the participants in particular occasion once again i thank all the participants on behalf of government college of education for the today thank you thank you sir thank you thank you so much sir. thank you participants for being with us uh, and uh, use this technology for your uh, to enrich your knowledge and uh, in your teaching learning practice thank you god bless you sir will will you want to learn sir sir